In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this drop stitch shawl. It's a good beginner's project because it works up so quickly. It's a, pro a pattern by Kristen Omdahl, and I'll link it in the description below. So get your best cat friend by your side, and let's get started. We're going to start by casting on three stitches. Now, you can use any size yarn for this and any size needles. Um, I prefer using bulky yarn for this just because it works up so quickly. So just use your long tail cast on and cast on three stitches and then turn your work to get ready for row number one. Now this is just a project of two repeated rows. The first row is we're going to knit into the front and back of the first stitch, knit all the stitches across the row, and then knit into the front and back of the last stitch. So to knit into the front and back you just put your needle in like you're going to regularly knit but instead of pulling the old stitch off you twist around and pull another stitch out of the back of it. Um, so we put the needle in the front, pull our loop up, twist around, put the needle in the back of the same stitch, pull up another loop, and then pull that off. And it essentially makes two stitches out of one stitch. And I'll show you how to do that again here more close up here in a second. The second row of the pattern is knit one, purl to the last stitch, and then knit the final stitch. So that's what we'll do. We'll knit one, we'll purl all the stitches, and then when we get to the final stitch we'll knit that last stitch. And that gives you a nice garter stitch edge to your shawl. Now let's take a look at that knit into the front and back more closely. We're going to knit like we normally would, but instead of pulling the old stitch off, you're twisting around, sticking your needle into the back of that stitch, and then doing a second stitch from that same one before you pull it off. And that grows one stitch on either side and makes a triangle shape. And where this shawl really starts to take shape is in the bind off. Once you get it to the length that you want, then we, we will begin the bind off. Now don't worry about the width, it's going to look a little narrow for a shawl, but once we start doing this special bind off it will actually double in size width wise. So to start the bind off we're going to need to have yarn that is three times the length of what our width of our shawl is. So I just kind of pull the yarn across it and find a piece that's the same width as the the shawl, and then I pinch it and fold it over a couple of times. So I've got the the proper length here. I just fold it over to get double that length and then pinch it again and fold it over a second time to get the three times the amount. And I like to have a little bit of extra yarn for this, so I kind of pull it out a little bit more before I cut it off. So I just give myself a little bit extra just in case I run out. And then you can either cut it or you can just grab it and break your yarn, depending on the kind of yarn you have. So to start this bind off, it's basically going to start just like a regular, regular bind off. There's nothing seemingly special at first. So we're going to bind off the first three stitches. So to do this we will knit our first stitch. So we insert your needle and wrap the yarn, pull up a loop, and pull the old loop off to knit that first stitch. We knit our second stitch and then pass that first stitch over and off the needle. Then we knit our next stitch, pass the second stitch over and off the needle and then knit one more and bind off your third stitch here. Now for this third one when you bind it off you're actually going to pull the yarn completely through as if you were finishing up your, your project. So you're going to you know, do your bind off, pass it over, and then pull that yarn all the way through. That's why we broke the yarn off of the, the ball that we had so that we have an actual end we can pull through here. So just get the yarn all the way pulled through, tighten it up, and then Here's where the fun part starts. You're going to drop these two stitches off. That's why it's got a drop stitch shawl. The next two stitches get dropped off, and then you rip them out all the way down the length of the shawl. And this gives you an area of drop stitches all the way down and kind of gives your shawl a little lacy look. I like this pattern for bulky projects just because 
bulky yarn tends to be a little heavy, and if you knitted an entire shawl out of bulky yarn, it's going to have a lot of weight to it. But by doing this with these drop stitch areas, it takes some of that weight away. So you can do a fast, bulky shawl, but it doesn't feel so bulky. So then we just continue on with our, our next bind off. Now when you bind off this next area, make sure that you stretch the yarn out a bit so that it matches the same width as the column of drop stitches below, so that it's not too tight. And then you're just going to knit that next stitch and then start binding off three stitches. There's one stitch bound off, two stitches bound off, and then our third stitch bound off. And then once again on the third stitch, you pull that yarn all the way through. And then we just repeat the same thing with our next two stitches. You drop those two stitches off, and then rip them out all the way down. Now it's a good thing to note here, I, I mentioned when you get to the length of your shawl um, that you want your shawl to be, that's when you start the bind off. But you also need to count your number of stitches because in order for this to work, your final count of stitches need to be a multiple of six plus three. So for instance, if you have you know, multiple of six, six times 12 is 72, plus three, you'd need 75 stitches in order to do this. In this case, in this one here, I had 81 stitches, which was six times 13 plus three to get me the right amount of stitches for this. So as long as you have the right amount of stitches and the length that you want, you can just keep continuing on ripping these stitches out, bind off three, drop two and rip them out all the way across until you reach the end of the shawl. And they can get a little tricky, especially if you're using yarn like this here that is a little fuzzy. It tends to get caught on itself and you just kind of have to rip it out a little forcefully in some places. Just being careful not to actually break the yarn. And you just continue all the way across the entire shawl. And this is what it looks like when it's done. Now, I also experimented and made a poncho using the same technique. And what I did was I basically just knit two of these triangle shawls using the same technique for both of them. And then I just stitched them together here across the top. Each of the sections with the knit stitches, I just stitched those areas together. And then left a section in the middle for a neck hole. And I took my leftover yarn and did a single crochet row across the entire neck hole to kind of give it some sturdiness and support. But there you go. There's your final product. <laughs>